Good afternoon, everybody. Stefano here from the First Reviews podcast. I'm back with another interview with Sapinder Ratch to talk about her brand new series that she's starring in and leading uh, called Allegiance that starts February 7th on CBC. Great. Nice to meet you, Stefano. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk about the show. I've Same here. Your character, Sabrina, I really love the character that they crafted for you. She is fighting a ton of battles on so many different fronts. Uh, she's extremely strong. Um, she's a powerful woman, a powerful character. Can you talk a little bit about your character, how you approach the script and all of the themes that are involved in the, in the, in the series? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, I, it's always really interesting. I remember as an actor, like when I would get a breakdown to say oh you know this person's really strong or you know they're they're really confident or powerful you know however you describe her um and always trying to figure out you know where does that come from and, and how do I play this and so for Sabrina um what you know when I when I got her it's not I, I never had the, the inkling to say oh she's very powerful or she's very strong it was what is what is she dealing with and how does she deal with these things and and through that her strength comes out but it's it's for her she's got a lot to prove and so you know there's themes of belonging um themes of identity themes of you know taking care of your family and obviously the title allegiance right so what happens in the story is that Sabrina's father is arrested and charged with treason the day before she's about to enter the police force. And for her, she's looked up to her father her entire life. She wants to carry this legacy of service that her family has. And as she's about to embark on her career, um, her father has this fall from grace. And then all of a sudden she has to prove herself. And so I think a lot of Sabrina's strength comes from a lot of insecurity a lot that she's suddenly facing and and that i find more playable and more human and more relatable in terms of how do i prove myself when people think i don't belong here how do i prove myself when my colleagues think that i've earned this opportunity because of who my father is because i'm a woman because i check a box not because i deserve to be here and so through all of that, um, we see her strength come out. I was able to watch the first, uh, the first couple, thankfully. And I, I loved the character dynamics, specifically you and uh, Enrico Colantoni. Colantoni, um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's oh, great. He's great. Yeah. Oh, he's wonderful. He's your, your supervising officer in the series and a veteran cop. And you guys have this like really fun dynamic. Can you talk about uh, a little bit of how you guys crafted that dynamic or what this, you know, how you guys adapted with the script? You know what? Rico is such a, he's such a lovely human. And, and, and I don't know that we really had to work hard at crafting anything. We kind of just had it when we showed up because, um, yeah, well, you know what, here's, here's the difference between, Sabrina and Vince and Supinder and Rico. Um, when Sabrina is assigned Vince as a training officer, he's the last person she wants. You know, he's he's this guy. He's he's he, he's older. He's kind of just waiting to retire. Um, and she doesn't think that he would have much to teach her. She wants a harder, stronger. You know, the, the guy that's a bit tougher. Um, but what she needs actually is 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 that understanding in that moment because she's not getting it from anywhere else but the difference between Rico and Stupinder is I think Rico is amazing and so I remember when I auditioned with him um he was just so good he was so good in the audition room and you know these lines were just sort of like flying out between us and it was it was a pretty emotional amped up scene and I remember being in the scene with him and thinking you know if I get this job and I get to work with this man um, it will make me a better actor because he's so good. He's so present and he, and he demands that, that truth and honesty out of your performance. And so um, that's the difference between us, but I just like, yeah, I, I just think the world of him. And I think that, you know, he really um, took on that role of, you know, being a training officer and a mentor in both his capacity as being my peer and an actor on screen, but also off screen um, you know, during times that it was, it was a long, hard shoot. And so it was during times I doubted myself and he would say, what do you need? 
what do you need? And we would run the lines or we would, we were really there for each other in a way that I think Sabrina and, um, and Vince are as well. And so it's, it was, it was just nice to have that because you don't always get that. Is there a favorite scene or favorite moment that you can remember from your, uh, without giving anything away? Um, yeah, I had a lot of, I had a lot of favorite scenes. Um, I think one, the ones that really struck me were the father daughter scenes. You know, I really identified with this relationship, um, that Sabrina's struggling with in, you know, where she's put her father on a pedestal and then he's fallen and then she loses him. You know, she, she loses her father at a time where she needs him most. Um, and so for, for myself, Stefano, I lost my father about two years ago. And so when I stepped into this role and into the role of this daughter, who's lost her father, um, there was a lot that I could identify in there. And so for myself and Stephen Lobo, who, who plays my father on the show, um, it, they were just really warm, emotional, interesting scenes to play. Because I think for both of us, there was a lot going on. Well, that must have been so hard for you to uh, get into that role. So oh, kudos to you for uh, keeping composure. Um Thanks. Oh God, I'm I'm a crier. I cry on a whim. But you're, yeah, thank you're you. getting me right now. I need. I, <laughs> um, congratulations yeah. on this uh, on this wonderful series. That, you know the struggles that Sabrina is going through, not only in the police force but also in her personal life. So, uh, you know, I really want to congratulate you on this series, and uh, everyone needs to check it out when it comes out February seventh, episode February 7th. one. February seventh. Thank you very much. Next week. Seven. Next week. Thank you, Supinder. This is, uh, it's been wonderful. It's great. It's been great chatting with you. Thank you great. so much for promoting the show. And I really appreciate your time. Of course. Of course. Anytime. My pleasure. Okay.